Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lovely J Sanglin for Computer IP. Today in this video I would like to discuss with you the first program from the list of practicals suggested by CBSE 2020-21. And here we have the program to find the average and grade for given marks of a student. For that, first of all, we have to ask from the students like how many subjects are there to in order to find the average and grades of those subjects and these subjects are stored in a variable n. That is, all the number of subjects are being assigned to a variable n. Next is total. Here total is equal to 0 because for the first time we don't have any marks for the total. And in order to enter those marks, we are using the for loop. So here in line number 5, the students will enter the marks and that those marks will be assigned to the variable marks. Then only after the marks are being entered for all subjects, then we can find the total of those marks. Suppose the user enter three numbers of subjects. That means the user should also enter the marks for all those three subjects. Then only we can find the total marks for those subjects and the marks are being assigned to the variable total. After getting all the marks, from from line number four five and six then only we can find the average marks of those subjects so here the variable avg marks is for finding the average of those marks that means the formula here is equal to total divided by n that means the total marks of those subjects Suppose, for example, you are entering the marks for three subjects. So here n is equal to 3. And the total is the total marks that you have entered. Then we can print the total marks as shown here in line number 9. The total marks means the sum of the given marks for all the three subjects for example you have three subjects so the sum of the given marks is the total of those three subjects after getting the total then we can print the average so for average we are printing using avg this is underscore avg underscore marks after we got the average marks now we can find the grade for the given marks and to find the grade, we need to specify the conditions. As for example, here I'm just taking the conditions like if the average marks is greater than 60, then the grade is A. Otherwise, it is B when the marks is greater than 45 and also less than 60. And if the average marks is less than 45 and greater than 30, then the grade is C. So all these conditions I just specify by myself. So you can specify the condition as per the requirements. So here we have, for example, here an average greater than 30 and average less than 45. If you have other conditions, you can change it by yourself since this condition is not specified. So here, let me run the program. So now it's asking how many subjects are there? So, for example, let us take two subjects and then we have to enter the marks for those two subjects. So, here I will enter two for the number of subjects. And also for the marks, let me take 84 and 81. So, 84 and 81. And here we are getting the average marks, which is 82.5. And as you can see here, since 82.5 is greater than 60, that means the average marks is greater than 60, the grade is A. Now let us check 
again by using by entering other numbers suppose here the number of subjects is 5 then uh, subject marks is 41 35 48 and 45 here we got the average 42.2 so after we find the total of these five subjects then we the average marks is 42.2 and you can see the grade here is c since 42.2 is in between 30 and 45 that means 45.2 is grade c now you can test by yourself on how to find the average and the grade for the given marks by asking how many subjects are there then you enter the marks for those subjects and then find out the total of the marks for those subjects and after you got the total then we find the average marks which is equal to total marks divided by the number of subjects and it is up to you whether you want to print the sum or not but you have to print the average marks and then specify the conditions in order to find out the grade of the marks of the students according to the average mark score by the student that's all for this program we shall meet again in the next video with another program and remember to share with your friends and your classmates so that they can also learn python programming